All right, guys, I'm here with uh, Brent Francis with the Princeton Fire Department. Of course, you know, we've been following the uh, fire here at the uh, dialysis center. We're going to get a word with Brent and see uh, exactly if they know the cause and uh, what's going on. Well, at this time, we don't know exactly the cause. Uh, the, the fire appeared to have started at the back of the building, and uh, that's the downwind side. So it, it kind of looks like it went up the back into the socket, into the attic, and the wind blew it straight straight through the attic and I mean it just exploded in the fire with the wind blowing hard today and, and it was blowing it right from right through the whole building. I know I was coming down from North Jefferson Street when I was over here and of course it was just covered in smoke you know coming over this way and of course now we think about everything Princeton's been through this past we just can't can't catch a break can we? No we can't we get some pretty weathering in this habit. <laughs> yeah. But uh, nobody was hurt and uh, that's a good thing because the back walls burn on the outside some. It may, might possibly have been a fire in the mulch. You know, went up the back wall. That's a dangerous fire to go up, go up a, a wall like that, get in the attic, and then blow through the top of the attic like that to the front so fast. Uh, had people been, been in the building. Right. Now I know on the way out here, I was getting reports of explosions and such going on. What do you know? What the cause of, of the explosions were? Was it gas? Because I noticed the gas line was still. Uh, flaming. I'm sure that was gas that was probably left over in the line. Uh, I think a lot of that might have been uh, oxygen cylinders. I, I got think you. a lot of people are on oxygen. Right. So it's probably uh, different uh, canisters and, and oxygen cylinders and things like that. Right, right. Well, Brent, thank you for taking the time. I know that you guys are probably, I know, tired from the tornado and, of course, the ice storm cleanup and now this. And, of course, we just thank you for all the hard work that you guys continuously do. And just uh, prayers for your all safety and anyone that was possibly hurt. But guys, uh, I'm gonna take it back out right now. And Brent, again, thank you for your time and just uh, keep doing what you're doing. Stay safe. Yep. Thank you. And we would like to thank Fredonia Fire, Lyon County Fire, Edible and Store, Electric Plant Board. They helped us drag hose. Everybody that helped. Uh, the police department, uh, they were on uh, Everybody helped out. Just a little bit too much fire, a little bit too much wind. And, we got all over that attic. Well, again, Brant, thank you.